Hello, my name is Duncan Alderdice and the reason I'm making these videos is to document the journey I take as I become who I am by making small improvements to my life every single day. I'm first off gonna talk about what I'm doing currently at my day job as an account executive slash salesperson sort of thing. So 38 dials on the day, rather low for the standard I'd like. However, two demos booked. One of those literally was the second call of the day that turned into a demo booked, then the follow-up was booked for that afternoon and that deal closed, which is fantastic. Um, as well as there was another one booked through LinkedIn. So that was, that was great. Again, keeping the pipeline full, which will keep me making money. Like it's, it's at this point I'm rowing, happy with that. Uh, two demos held on the day. Uh, so that's two new opportunities and one follow-up held. The follow-up went it looked relatively well. Um, he kind of seemed like he wanted to push it back, but then we have, there's like a end of the month special that I brought up and there is a follow-up to the follow-up scheduled for Friday um, for him to basically make a decision whether he's gonna take advantage of the super cool fun, fun crazy discount today. Um, and like I said, one deal closed. So this puts me at total on the month at, in terms of revenue generated, that is $17,604.16, which officially puts me at the accelerator bonus threshold, which is fantastic. And that marks the third month in a row that I have hit the accelerator bonus. What's the title of the thumbnail? I could say like, I have hit the accelerator bonus three months in a row. But again, like more what it's just, it, it is proof to me that I can do what the position requires at a high enough level uh, consistently such that I can say like I have the skill of sales. Now, of course I can improve, but it's unreasonable for me to believe that I could not go to a different business, different company, or have, be given a product and a prospect to speak to and could not have the conversation effectively such that it would lead for them to make a decision to or to not to buy the product, depending on whether or not the prospect that I was speaking to genuinely actually had a need for the product. So I have that. Now, the next thing I'm gonna talk about are the small improvements to my life that I have made today, including the last time I spoke to you um, that are improving my life. Some of them are just a little quick wins as well. So number one is, so the, Yesterday, somebody jo joined the school group um, by watching one of the video these videos without me actually outreaching them to directly. They completed the personality test. I then sent them their results of the personality test, and in doing so, I had I like gave, like created like an updated version of it. Really, all the updates like I'm glad I did the work before. Um, but the descriptions were the same, but just on the actual Word document, I actually put their percentile rank so that it wasn't just in the email. Um, it just may be a bit easier rather than have to look back and forth with that, as well as reworded one of the sentences um, in the email. Um, because it was just confusing the way it was written, but that's fantastic because then the next time I bring it up with an, another person or someone goes through that, then I don't have to do that work. So it's just a slight little improvement. Again, working towards a brighter future, so that's fantastic. Also, somebody joined the school group through a school group that I joined. <laughs> um, I used to master, mastermind one um, with Carl Bro, whose name I will like, tag in the video in the description of this video. That was a sentence. Um, so that was that was that was cool. Just going like okay, participating in those communities, and there actually was a a Q and A call, like a group call online, which I'm I'm starting to get the feeling of that's the real value that comes from joining the school community. Yes, seeing the discussion posts are great, but at least for me, getting to interact with other people who have a similar common purpose, but like actual it in out loud rather than just in proximity in the online sort of thing way cooler um i was only able to show up for like like 15 minutes of it because i did have a sales call at 10 o'clock when it was that was one of the demos that i held uh didn't close but whatever but went for the, the quick little thing and like the takeaway and i watched the alex hormozzi video yesterday um which seems to be there's a trend i guess you could call it not so much of a trend but an emergence of the awareness of more authentic style content being preferred preferable which Funny enough, it's similar to the stuff I'm doing right here, um, which is great, but 
I think the fundamental point is learning from that group, which confirms the things that like, just I'm glad that I've taken the step to actually join the group because what I've learned was Views is not the thing I'm after. Quality views is the thing I'm after. So I don't need to get a million people to watch this video. I want a person who's on their own journey of personal growth to find this video, see someone else doing exactly what they're doing, and then that could lead them to joining the group of people who are on their own personal growth journey. Like they identify someone who's trying to attempting to build the life they want for themselves. And then from there, the con those are the prime candidates I'd like to speak to in terms of a coaching call of people I'd like to talk to. Like that's the ideal prospect kind of thing once I figured out all what the coaching thing actually looks like. But so I don't need 10,000 people to watch. If 100 people watch, it's only 100 views, but 100% of those 100 are people who would benefit from the program and be interested in the program, that's more specifically be interested in the program, then that's a win. If there's 10,000 people or 100,000 people that, that watch it, but only 100 of them are like are, are genuinely interested, in that sort of thing, that's a failure because realistically, if I'm creating something that's a content for all the, the, the bigger group, I'm going to alienate those more, those people who are a bit more interested in the things that I actually have to offer so that, such that, such that, so that, so that I'm actually doing a disservice to them. So then, and, and it, it's funny because I'm, I'm watching Alex Hormozzi and he will comment on these things and it, it's the content he's producing now is more in line what I'd like to see from him less so the ed high edit style which is more edutainment than ed ed entertainment I just kind of want to hear him talk um but that I think what I like about that is because he's saying this thing that's the matching what's going on in the YouTube master buying group and that's actually how I'm feeling so then it's like okay no it, it must be right so that's great that I just learned that so then that's that's, I can he feel myself here attempting to, no, that's the thing I really need to find out is who do I want to these videos to appeal to? I know that that is a goal. I have to figure that out. But once I do, then I can start, then I, once I do and get a more visual and personal understanding of that, then I can speak directly to that person. Right now I'm talking to the camera, I'm talking to you, but I don't know who you is, who you are. I don't know who you are, but once I do know who you are, then I can speak to you as though I know who you are, and then it will feel as though I'm speaking directly to you. Whereas right now, the you that I'm speaking to is just the general you, which isn't a you in particular. I want the person listening not just to, to feel like I'm speaking to a group. You don't speak to a group, you speak to the individuals in the group. So I need to, need to know what individuals I'm speaking to or what individuals need to hear my message or my message resonates most deeply with. I think that's more what it is. Um, other small improvement is the Instagram name I had for the handle was ideas are tools because that was the other kind of thought that I've had. Um, but I'm sticking with become who you are. I tried changing it to Duncan Alderdice, but that already was taken and I didn't want it to be Duncan dot Alderdice or like all these come. I hate those. Um, so then I tried changing it to become who you are, but somebody already has that. Um, so in the meantime, I did a bunch of combinations. I tried, you shall become the person you are, or you shall become who you are, but then you shall was too much up front. So then I changed it to the become who you are. I tried adding capital letters, but it just didn't, get, it didn't stick out, didn't stay. But the become who you are is better than be become dot underscore hyphen dot. Like I, that doesn't look good. And then when it gets big enough, I can then like just send the person who has the handle be like, hey, can I have this handle? And they'll be like, no, I like it. And I'll be like, money. And they'll be like, okay, cool. Um, because again, it's not just like, give it to me. It's more like, I'm trying to build this thing. Could you help me by giving that username? Also, not just give it to me, you get nothing, but like, let's find, let's make a deal that both of us are happy about. So that's that. Um, and then lastly, the improvement, oh, and why that's an improvement is because and watching the week, month two of the school game winners sort of thing. Um, two main channels that seem to be of good focus are 
well, Facebook ads, so meta, but the metaverse, so like Facebook and Instagram, Instagram specifically because you can run reels, you can actually directly message people, send people a DM, like message people directly, directly message people, send people a DM, message people directly. I think all of those said the same things. Rather of YouTube, I can't. So then it would good be good for that. And then that way the brand is consistent rather than being, okay, Instagram is ideas or tools. Some Facebook is fit, Duncan Alderdice and YouTube is Duncan Alderdice. And then this thing has become who you are. Whereas it's more like become who you are is its own thing. Duncan Alderdice is the personal brand for Duncan Alderdice. Duncan Alderdice, the personal brand, which is growing is fund f funding, fueling interest in become who you are brand, but it's a separate identity so that it doesn't turn into a system or at least it's easier to turn it into a standalone structure rather than a genius with a thousand helpers kind of thing because I want to stay away from that. Then last thing, last small improvement of the day is I created a call notes sheet um, as a suggestion from one of the people who are I'm, I'm working on the coaching program with. Um, because they said the next day, like, we talked about a bunch. I don't remember a lot of it. So it'd be nice if there was just like a summary of what happened. I took call notes, but I'm not just going to send them that because it's just kind of random shit. But it is, it would be useful just to be, because if they have an activity to do for the next seven days, like, here's a call fact sheet. Um, so quite literally all it is right now is a Word document that I will modify that is just... Like it says date colon, name colon, session number colon, call summary colon, action plan colon. Like it's, it's basic as fuck, but it's a start. It's a small improvement. So if, if like, it can be like, hey, what did you think of this? And they were like, like, yeah, it looks good. Be cool if it had better colors. And then I can go like, okay, that can be a task that is done. And I guess that's the whole, the theory of constraints. Um, which is essentially like if you're building a business, what you want to fix is the thing that's preventing the most flow. So like if this is a, this is an improvement, is the biggest problem the fact that the color it doesn't look as nice, or the fact that it doesn't exist? The fact that it doesn't exist is the bigger problem. So then solve that one. Now it exists. And the thing that existing being slightly better problem, but in terms of priorities, which is what strategy is, is just prioritizing what you're what you are doing. It's something that should be done, but doesn't necessarily need to be done right now. Whereas like, okay, so I have that template. We can use that for the time being. Let's get a course done and uploaded. Oh, that's another thing that I did. Camera. Uh, done and uploaded. And then once that's done, then we can start focusing on that. This is actually cool because it's starting to work out. Like it feels more actual businessy. No, I haven't made money yet. But I'm not in the stage of making money. I'm the stage of building, which is the not money making stage. If you try to force making money in the not making money stage, then you will build something that's not as effective and make decisions that are more prioritized and making money in the short term rather than making the best thing, which ultimately provides more value to the world slash marketplace and therefore gets receives more value from the marketplace slash money. Last thing is I ordered a camera, a webcam like that I could record videos with. Rather, this thing's good. But there, there's just a, it's a it's a it's a more upgraded version. I don't it's not a full DSLR one because I don't really know how to use those enough to justify purchasing one. It's a it's a larger purpose and there's a lot more technicalities to it. What I like about the GoPro, which is what I'm using, is I press click, it turns on, and if I throw it in the water or fucking toss it around, it won't break. Um, yes, the webcam's not going to be nearly as resilient, but again, it's a, it's a pretty high high quality one. We'll see as well as it. Can, it has a gimbal so it can move. So there's a there's ability to pan. There's just features with what I like and love working for the place that I do because I'm gonna use that as part of the workplace, work from home allowance because um, technically it's an upgraded webcam and I can use it for work. But again, it's just like love the company that I work for. That's plans well, shout out, not a sponsor. Um, but that, I feel bad about these videos. Like it's nice having this call structure note. That was a, that was a note given to me by a note, a tip given to me by Carl, Carl Bro in the YouTube mastermind that I have joined. So, I mean, I'm not going to say how much, like, to join the group, it was not very expensive. Like, it's a relatively low ticket subscription. 
but has borne fruit that have improved the videos. That hopefully, um, if you have never been here before, you feel some sort of desire or incentive to hear more. Um, and with that said, that brings us to the end right here. Clementine Club, thanks for sticking around as always. And remember to believe in yourself because you're more capable of doing great things than you give yourself credit. I'll talk to you later. Thank <laughs> you.